I'm gonna do, like I said, we're gonna do Piosec or Piosec, however you say his name, uh, Kinder build again, because they put it at Worlds yesterday, so why not? I have Lethal Tempo on, I gotta remember that, because if I don't remember I have Lethal Tempo on, then what's gonna happen is I'm gonna get murdered early game thinking I have the damage of PTA or Conqueror, and then be very sad. I'm also against Shaco, so I can't smite Red because I need to smite his box when he inevitably tries to cheese me. Oh, there's one cheese already. Hmm. Didn't choose me yet. The reason I was scanning was to see if he was gonna do raptors straight to my blue or anything. But no, he didn't. Yet at least. He'll still probably show up here and jump on me, but I got my blue XP, so it's fine. I wouldn't be surprised if he chooses me and takes my Gromp, though. Because I feel like he's just doing his full red side and then gonna run over here. But if it happens, it happens. Not a big deal. Oh, he actually isn't. Okay, he just started red side and it didn't choose. Lethal Tempo is losing 25 range and range champions only. Oh no! The, the rune that shouldn't have existed and shouldn't like be a thing ever is getting nerfed? No! What do we do? Oh, it's almost as if auto attack range is one of those stats that should never get buffed or changed in the first place and a rune shouldn't do it. If you can't tell, I hate that a lot. I hate the fact that runes change range now. It's one of the stats that almost never gets changed on a champion for a reason. Rapid fire, but okay, the, the difference between rapid fire though is as much as I still think it's dumb as a concept to change a champion's range, at least rapid fire is one single auto that you have to restat. Lethal tempo, as soon as you auto a bunch in a fight, you permanently get that. Like, it's not exactly fun to deal with or play against. Okay, I'll help you. Don't mind me, Mr. Yone. Like, it's not something that I personally think is fun whatsoever to play against. Like, I, I think it's just stupid. Caitlyn autoing me six times from 650 range and then deciding, you know what, 650 range wasn't enough, let's make it a six or 750 or 725 is not exactly the world's um most engaging gameplay, if we're being honest here. Yeah, we're not going to get anything done here. Janna's here, though. Ah, I'm going to die. I'm just Janna just shielded Yone. Oh my, she shielded Yone, not me. Wait, Vayne's not level 3, so she can't condemn- Okay, this is going really bad really fast. Yep. Oh, Vayne got a kill. I don't think she- Ah, she got two. Miss Fortune got two, but she got two. We can take that. It's fine. It's only one death early on. The only thing that's really annoying on their team anyways is the fact that Aatrox becomes unkillable at a certain point and then um, Ash Arrow being on a sub 30 second cooldown because Ash support yo. So, it's the only annoying things on their team, not a big deal. See, the fun part about doing this build, too, doing the, like, Piosec build, is it, it's very similar to my tank Kindred build, how I do, like, Frozen Heart after Wit's End. But instead of doing Frozen Heart, you just do Titanic. But it's just, at, at least somebody acknowledges the fact that Wit's End is just an insanely strong second item, and it's so much better than going Bork second or going, like, uh, just, like, Collector second. It's so much better. It's it's so much better. The reason I'm not going over there, either, is Shaco should be over there. So I'm not running there. At least though somebody acknowledges the fact of how strong Witch Kraken combo is. Need 100 percent need a life steal. I don't think there's a game where you ever 100 percent need life steal as a second item. Even then, I would just at that point I would swap it and take uh, what is it called? 
uh, Legend Bloodline if you really wanted Lifesteal that early on, but I don't think Lifesteal as a second option is ever needed on Kindred. On top of the fact that, I mean, you already get healing. If you take Conqueror, that has a chance to give you healing. There's runes like Bloodline that heal you. I don't think Blork Second's ever worth it. Wits is just so much better of an option. It's so much... It's so superior to Blork is on Kindred. I listen to Volley Bear theme? Nope, and I do not care enough to, if I'm being completely honest with you. I don't really care for most League themes. The only League theme I really like is Tulia's and... Oh, I'm getting juiced. <laughs> it's Tulia's though, and, um... What is it called? And the original versus theme. Those are the only themes I care about. I don't know if it's a third or fourth item. Even like, yeah, it's okay as third or fourth item, but I definitely think it's it's overrated on some champions like Kindred, for example. Like, it's not bad by any means, but Kraken Wits in like Maul, in my opinion, is a really solid core of items. If it's, if they have like AP, if they don't have AP, just Kraken Wits, and then you can go tank, or if you want Bork. But I don't know. I just don't think Bork's that good on range champions like it is on melee champions, with the exception of certain champions, you know, like Twitch, for example, who's going to be hitting you from nine million range away. And also, you know, slowing you with the Bork and doing the percent HP damage and stuff. I will, though, say for Season 13, there's definitely going to be more crit builds that I'm going to be doing because I just really find Navori fun, even if it's not very good with the changes. The change Navori is super fun. Flash into this room. Hey, go get out of here. Oh no, Shaco cc me. Wait, are you going AP? No, okay, you're. Wait, why are you going AP Shaco with Hail of Blades? You're not normal. Oh, stealth is a fun mechanic in League of Legos. Will he jump on me? I wonder. I won't push. But I am taking the cannon. I am going to last at it. I wanted to see if I could get Bader under turret so I could see her in the shroud, but her shroud was on the edge of it, so I couldn't. But I did get her flash, at least. So I did get something. I still remember when my W did 50% of HP, somebody's HP bar. You mean when I was playing on PBE and uh, my W chunked people really hard because of the Navori extra damage plus well, like how fed I was? Cause that was fun. Because my W was doing like 30% more damage from Navori at the time. I bet he won't come over here to the point where I can fight him. Yeah, no. Not warded, but obviously it doesn't matter. He's potentially going for Drake. I don't know, the Shaco's not doing much, and he's got a weird build considering his runes. Yeah, he wants to do it. I'm not going to let him do it if I can avoid it. I think Akali is going to come to me. That's fine, though. Even if it's a Cloud Drake, I'm just going to keep harassing Shaco because this game's rather slow for me in the regards of there's not much that I can do for lane gang, so then maybe bot lane and Teemo's just kind of destroying Aatrox. So. It's kind of one of those slow games. You're, you're not getting this. You, you can go away. I'm not going to let you get it. Even if you send Ash up here and Akali, I will still be over here.
Ash is trying to come over here. Those who run from death stood still in life. Mm, we're fine. I actually thought that was the clone for, since he kept walking. No, we're not killing him. Oh my. <laughs> it's so pain. Marks and try to invade his jungle for the marks. I could, but I'm also not going to give up objectives. If you think playing around your marks and giving up all the uh, giving up objectives for free is the right call, then you're going to lose games for that. Giving up objectives for free for no reason and letting him try to go bomb. He just died to Chrome. On Shaco. You know what? I, I, I take it back. If you just let him do whatever he wants, he'll kill himself to Grom. I take it back. Oh my god. Hearing players think that you should go for every kindred mark even when it's a bad time to go to the other side of the map and giving up objectives is not worth it, but I'm just going to ignore people at that point. It's not worth it whatsoever to ignore the, the to give up objectives to go take a mark. Yeah, there's multiple things that show who the real Shaco is. Let's just take this. Eh, no, sword it again. Yeah, they're keeping this whole side of the jungle warded. I'm not gonna let them have Drake for free. Conqueror better than we Conqueror and PTA are both better in my opinion. The only reason I'm using Lethal Tempo is because I want to record a video of the Kindred build that they used at Worlds, which I already uploaded two weeks ago, but I'm gonna do it again because free clickbait, yo. He might be dead. They killed themselves because they took the double up. And the Kali is also once again in bot lane. For the amount that Sakali is roaming, I really hope he gets her turret soon. But at this point, I don't think he's going to do much. Kind of pain. I mean, he has 50 CS up at least, though, but the Akali just keeps roaming with Shaco and it's making this game so annoying. No adjuster. Mm, I might have to just do Maul instead, just do Kraken with Maul again, since the Akali is getting to pretty much do what she wants for free. I wanted to do a fun build, but I kind of don't really have the option with Akali being allowed to do whatever she wants. I also really don't want Yone to go swap lanes with Teemo because Teemo's shutting down Aatrox, and I'm really scared that like when you know, Yone and Aatrox lane against each other and aren't low health from Teemo, I'm really scared that uh they're going to... Um... Oh, wait. I'm, I'm very scared that they're going... Are... Can... Can, can, you, can you go away? But I'm very scared that whenever they do that, that, um, Aatrox is going to murder Yone a bunch. Very, very scared of that. I don't know if this is warded. I feel like it probably is. Emo could run down that ash if he wanted. Emo's really strong. I can back and get my mythic. I just want to do this. I hey, might as well. Keto's here with me. What's the worst that happens? I die again. I've already died three times. Not a big deal. Oh, shake us here. I 
Oh, you only did kill a Kali at least. That's good. I'm gonna get my Gromp actually. Pull her back. The Shaco still makes no sense that he's taking Halo Blades but doing an AP build. So weird. Are you imitating me? This Aatrox is not having a good time. I have three seconds on my ult, so I'll be a little cocky. Alright, Janna's keeping her slowed. Okay. There we go. That's the real one right there. Because he can't cleanse vein stacks, just like he can't cleanse Kindred E with clones. Or duplicate it, I should say. No, that, that, that's the real one. He's... I'm gonna hit this over a heal. Ult Vayne, please don't kill yourself. The Shingo? I mean, I played one game so far and I won it. My second game. Alright, nobody killed themselves. Everybody just walk. Right, I'm, I'm just gonna walk away. I'm not gonna let Ash kill me. Because I'm not gonna let Shaco stealth on me and murder me. Eh, the hawk shot still gets vision of me. I still hate that ability. Vayne, please don't kill yourself. Uh, why Vayne? I, th that was like the most obvious thing that was gonna happen. Words, words, la la la, pew twang pew. Are you imitating me? I wish Jenna was smart and ran away with me instead of staying in the bush to back when she knew Ash knew that we were going to be trying to back somewhere around there. At least the Vayne was smart. Or not Vayne, the uh, Janna. No, no. No. No, that's like a 4 HP. Ah, run. <laughs> I left it with 4 HP there, bro. Yone? There's no shot you win this one, right? Yone, you're the MVP. Let's go. There's also an Aatrox right there. Wait, you stop it! Calm down there, friend. This isn't the world championship, okay? Calm down there. boxes oh, Dane. I don't know why Shaco would ever run forward like that considering the fact that um we kind of uh he know he's an AP Shaco so his autos do negative damage so I don't know why you would ever run forward on a vein like that but thank you for the free kill I do appreciate it Might as well grab this. It's still a mark. There we go. Any tricks to keep your laners from feeding Shaco? Uh, yeah, hope you're. Whenever you uh, you load into a game of League of Legends, do a DNA test on all of your teammates and make sure they're not related to Columbus, so they can maybe look at a map. That's about the. Uh, that's about how you play against Shaco. I was scared that they were gonna like flash or try to alter or anything. Yep, 
you know, you know friend that's probably not the, not not the call it's <laughs> probably not the call Get to him before he takes my blue and things. Probably not, right? Oh, he didn't take my blue. Get out, East. Huh. Kinda weird. Maybe he wanted to go AD Shaco, but his team told him to go AP. Even if your team tells you to do something, you shouldn't just mindlessly follow what your team wants you to build. Odds are, if you're a cha play a champion and you know how to play the champion, odds are you know how to play the champion better than your teammates do, and they shouldn't be telling you how to play your champion. It's like when people on my team try to tell me I shouldn't build XYZ on Kindred, or I shouldn't build my tanky Kindred builds that I carry the games with, or this or that. It's like, yeah, odds are I know how to play my champion better than you do, so uh, I'm gonna do what I do, and yeah. Auto attack range. I'm getting so many assists this game. Oh, how are you doing? I'm getting so many assists this game though. Like, Embracing life means accepting death. Oh, Kino. Did someone on your team blame you for uh, feeding bot lane because you went Kraken Slayer against three tanks? I mean, to be fair, even if they're not tanky, Kraken Slayer is still by far the best. That's something that I don't think a lot of people understand is that Kraken Slayer is flat true damage. Flat true damage is good against everybody. It's not like it's percent HP or anything. It's just true damage. It's, it's just good against everybody. I don't know why somebody would flame you for building Kraken Slayer when it's literally the best mythic for Kindred. There's literally nothing that comes close to it in like any other situation. The only other argument I have for Gale Force ever is if their team is really stealth heavy, like I could build Gale Force this game because Gale Force will hit stealth champions and execute them with their low health anyways. But even then, I would still rather just have Kraken. Personally. You know, I lied. I'm going to still go for the Titanic build. I'm a liar. It's like when I uh, when I upload YouTube videos of my tanky kindred builds and stuff, the people will try to tell me, well, you, you, this build wouldn't work if you didn't do XYZ or if you weren't fed or if you didn't have marks. And then I'll upload a game where I'm like 0-7 early on and I still get fed with my build. And it's just like, yeah, so uh, maybe maybe instead of complaining because you're, you're losing in silver games for not knowing how to play the game, maybe uh, just shut up and let me do my build, you know? Maybe just let me do my builds. And if you don't like it, go watch something else. Kind of how I feel when people try to tell me how to play. But I've come to learn you can never appease those people. Because if you're fed, they'll tell you that your build only works because you're fed. If you if you fall behind early and you play around your teammates who are fed and then you come back in the game, they're going to tell you you only won the game because your teammate was, in, was strong and carried or was a strong early game. And it's, it's, So then you just have to sit there and you have to think to yourself, so what exactly do you want to do? Do you want me to somehow like have all my teammates feed and me feed and then somehow like come back in the game even though odds are that's not happening no matter who you are if everybody's feeding? Including you. Like, you, you can never win with these people. I should not have given up Drake for that mark. I said earlier I shouldn't have, and then I just did it. Nobody ever complains when you build funny with Trundle. That's because nobody knows what Trundle builds, since other than when he's popular in pro play, nobody ever builds or plays Trundle. To be fair, nobody plays Kindred either, but... We'll just hate Kindred. Bro, I literally watched you place the box when I'm scanning. Why are you trying to run me into a box? No. Oh. That's good. That's good. This is not good, but that was good. Oh, I might actually get out. Oh my, I get out. My team's the MVP. Let's go. Kali also missed her, uh, her shuriken on me. She missed twice, and he missed two shuriken on somebody. <laughs> Let's go, bro. 
Oh no, you are not executing me with that. Good luck. <laughs> Let's go. I mean, we could probably end too, but we do have waves, but I would like to try to get this. Oh, we still got it. A little bit harder than it needed to be, but we still got it. Certain players are too good. I don't think it's anything about anybody being too good. Like, it's not like I'm saying I'm better than other players. It's just I played so much Kindred that I know what I can build and I know how to play these builds and things. People have the issue with League of Legends players and why they can't climb and get stuck in, like, bronze and silver and this and that and they've never hit, like, diamond or anything like that is because they're sheep. They go on u.gg or op.gg and they'll either look up what one challenger player built or they'll look at what the masses build and only build that and then they'll complain when they're losing the game they'll be like well my teammates fed the game or this or that and it's like and if you're playing a carry champion you can carry in bronze and silver but you're a sheep and you don't adapt it's just what people do and then it's so annoying to hear here all the time they refuse to adapt and then they make excuses and just try to flame other people because of it It's like ADC players, how they complain that they can't build glass cannon anymore, like every single game, and then they're mad about it when it's just like so many ADCs can build tanky. Kindred can build tanky. Vayne can build tanky. Kog'Maw can build tanky. I've seen uh, Evazeril can build tanky. Like, Nyla can build tanky. But people don't want to do it. They just want to build glass cannon and then get mad. It's stupid. It's so dumb to hear. I couldn't build six damage items because I got one shot by a Zed. It's not fair. Riot hates me and loves Zed. Well, no, it's called you built six damage items, didn't build anything defensive, so you got one shot by the Assassin because you're playing the squishiest class in the game. Good job, bud. I mean, like, so, like, it, it, this game's a good example of that, too. So what's the excuse this game for me being behind and being, like, 0-3 and, and then now coming back in the game and still doing fine? What, what's the excuse for this? Was it because, you know, my team was just fed and I just, you know, like, nothing's good enough? <laughs> I might have killed myself to Aatrox. Oh, yeah. Okay, he, he's still Aatrox. He still does, does not, like, damage. He's still not a fan of damage, but it's fine. Let's go. I might actually live, too, because all of the triumph. Let's go. I'm not going to live. Vayne, or not Vayne, the Swords of Flash. <laughs> but she did die for it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah, the excuse this time is paid actors, right? Sorry, guys. Sorry. Pro Kendra knows to come back from a deficit. It's so it's just so annoying to me. Like I have to deal with it so much because I make videos and I know it comes with making videos, but it's just like League players just refuse to try to get better. They just try to make any excuse they can to not get better and blame it on something else. They refuse to try and get better. Which I guess is ironic considering the fact that I refuse to try to get better anymore after I hit mid diamond, so now I just play and just like do fun builds and things, but it's because I like to play for fun. Not because I like to blame things. I still say I hate Riot half the time. What? Tomorrow is a hope. They didn't let me get my more? Bro! <laughs> Pain! That would give me extra range too. I'm not scared of you really. You can still probably one-shot me because you're a Kali and I don't have much MR, but I'm still not scared of you. I'm 
build bad, but you only good because you master champ, Reddit? Pretty much, dude. They, they make any excuse, man. I don't know. It's just dumb. Do players find any excuse to, like, blame something in Flame instead of just play the game for fun and just, like, try different things and learn to do different things? Even in rank, they refuse to try to, like, get better and get, be more skillful. They just rather find a reason why it's because Riot hates them and their champion and, uh, and Riot's the worst company known to man. To be fair, they are a pretty trash company. But, you, you know, you get the point. It just, it gets annoying after a while to deal with. Yeah, you know, I still am gonna upload this, and I, I just I'm curious as to what the complaint's gonna be. 